The thunderous applause whisked a nervous Christopher Carter to the stage. He and Rachel Barnett made a little history. They became the first two graduates from a Tulsa County alternative courts program. People all the time say people can't change, everyone can, and if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. A few years ago, Tulsa police say, Christopher Carter got into a bar fight. Investigators say he shoved a man to the ground, giving him a massive head injury. The man died, and Carter was set to serve several years in prison. However, he served just one year before getting into the alternative courts program. Director Erica Jeffords explains. The majority of them showed that while they were in DOC, they attempted, if available, to participate in programs to help them already. According to the DOJ, prison creates a cycle. About 75% or so go back to prison because of a lack of resources. This program is designed to provide those resources. Even with the help, Barnett says, it takes some gumption. Just the will, the willingness to want to change and do better. Jeffords told me Barnett has a longer history with the law, but Carter has just the one case. Both are going back to the world, hoping to stay out of prison and maximize their lives. I plan on being a, a great father, and that's my 100% main goal. Uh, and uh, I plan on helping people in this program and, you know, maybe people that are still incarcerated. I'm told there are several more graduations planned for this program. The next one is slated for August. Reporting in downtown Tulsa, I'm Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.